okay the next question is which of the following graphs has an Eulerian circuit and then we are given these four options and we have to choose the correct one okay so uh, what is an Eulerian circuit uh, from your theory class an Eulerian circuit is a circuit in which you start at a vertex okay and you go through all the edges in the graph you traverse all the edges in the graph and you come back to the vertex where you started and the thing is that you don't have to go through the same edge twice you can go through one edge only once and you have to go through all the edges that is Eulerian circuit and there is a very important theorem about Eulerian circuits if you remember the theorem is like this if and a graph has an Eulerian circuit if and only if all vertices in the graph are of even degrees okay so all the vertices in the graph should be of even degrees okay so that is the sufficient and necessary condition for an Eulerian circuit in the graph. This is a theorem. I'm not proving this theorem. I'll prove it probably somewhere else. But you have this idea and you need this to solve this problem. Okay. So what is the option what is option A? It talks about something called a regular graph. Any K regular graph where K is an even number. So what is a regular graph? In a regular graph all the vertices have same degree and when you say it is a k regular graph then all the vertices in the graph will have a degree of k okay every vertex in the graph has a degree of k and it is given that k is an even number and and this is our theorem that we know that if all, if all vertices are of even degree then it's an Eulerian circuit okay so this looks correct yeah in a k regular graph all the vertices are of or of the same degree and that degree is k and k is even so this is an Eulerian circuit okay so that should be our answer and we should stop here because uh, in in this exam that we are talking about gate all the all the questions are supposed to have only one correct answer but it turns out that in this question uh, one more option is correct okay and and that one is this C and I'll, I'll explain how this is correct. So this is the complement of a cycle on 25 vertices. So how do you find a complement of a graph? So suppose you have a graph, okay? I'll just give you this small example with five vertices. Then we'll talk about 25. Uh, just to show you how you find the complement of a cycle with five vertices, okay? So suppose this is a graph with five vertices okay and this is a cycle like this so this is a cycle like this your graph okay so how do you find the complement of this graph so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a complete graph out of this five vertices which is called k5 and and the other vertices that are the other edges that are needed to make the complete graph I'll draw them in red so this one okay this one and this one and this one and this one so this is the complete graph on five vertices and this outside is my cycle in green so how do I find the complement of this cycle in the case of these five vertices so what I do is I start with this complete graph and I remove the vertices that were in the cycle because that's the complement so I remove these vertices that were in the cycle and whatever is left this thing in red is the complement okay so that's how you find a complement and in, in this particular case let's talk whether this one has an origin circuit or not so this one has five vertices and all of them will have a degree of four okay that's the property of complete graph because every vertex is connected with every other vertex and there are five vertices so all of them have a degree of four and 
for this cycle only all of them have a degree of 2 and when you remove this cycle to get the complement you take off 2 degrees from all these graphs so what are you left with is 2 degrees for all these vertices okay so this one this red 2 this red you can see there are 2 edges there are 2 so you're left with 2 so you basically when you take the complement you're left with 2 degrees less okay for all the vertices in the case of a cycle and then you can easily see for 25 for for 25 what you will have instead of this 4 okay instead of this 4 you will have 24 all right because this will be connected to 24 other vertices in case of the complete graph and you will when you will find the complement when you will find the complement you will remove two vertices so you will left you will be left with 22 degrees for every vertex in the graph okay and then 22 is even and all vertices are of even degrees so this should be an Eulerian circuit as well